Yo, I swear to God, man, it's not my day. Dude, you won that game, man. <laughs> oh yeah. You would have, you would have won that game. <sighs> it counts as a win for sure. All you're right. well, actually, you're behind in score. That's weird. <laughs> WTF, FML, sad face, QQ, etc. All right. So uh, let's take two seconds to talk about the state of that game. He had a couple void rays out. I was on my third base. I was still droning. Yeah. And uh, yeah, he made two void rays. Um, he made a robotics, which I'm not sure if you saw. At his natural, he made a robotics, uh, and he was killing his rock. So he showed uh, all the signs of going for a very fast, like tech heavy. Mm -hmm. Probably gonna add Colossus, take a third base. Mm -hmm. You know, then stay very passive and not attack you for a, a long time. So, uh, making drones was good. Making your third base was good. Getting your spire would have been good. Getting all your upgrades. Um, I think you basically, you would have had a lot of time to just make drones yeah. and possibly take a fourth base. And he wouldn't have attacked you for a very long time except for the two void rays. Mm -hmm. So I think if you would have done that, then you would have been in a really good position that game because the hatchery and the ego chamber really put you ahead there. Well, shit happens. All right, well, we're going to call it 01, and if uh, if I lose this next game, uh, that'll be uh, 02, and we'll have you jump up and play. And All if right. I win this next game, then uh, I'll cheese in the last one, so we still have time for you to jump up and play. All right. Sounds good. All right, uh, two, uh, let's see, what MLG map have we not played yet? I'm not going to go on the crossbow. Zell Naga, I am Naga. Alright, well I will um it's a, it's a good neutral map. Or maybe a bit of a protos map, but not that bad. As, as long as a uh, Glog is here. Excellent. Alright, Red, I'm gonna kick you out of the party for just a second. So okay. that I can uh, host Zelnaga. game. Alright, you ready, sir? I'm ready. Alright. Man, Let's do this. I feel like I've been just raffle stomped time and time I feel again. Like, I feel like I'm a bad coach because you're not winning. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not that. Not that at all. I mean, the, the, the game on uh, Test Bug, man, Phoenix openings are just so strong. I'm not really sure yeah, how, how you uh, come out of that. Honestly, ahead. that game felt like you were you were fucked from the beginning. Uh, you got speedlings, you know. You got a very fast. He went like one gate, stargate, and then made a nexus when he had two zealots and two sentries. That's like so so abusive yeah. because then the phoenix put you on the back foot and you have to make queens, spores. You're losing overlords. You can't make drones like you want to. And he got this expansion up with so few units, and he can just chronobus pro probes, and he got a really fast Colossus after that. It's just... Uh, Would the correct response there, had we recognized everything and just been perfect, would that have been to just make speedlings and go all in? Yeah, I feel like getting an Evo Chamber, getting two spores, and nullifying the Phoenix that way, and then that gives you room to just get speedlings, maybe like 20. Mm -hmm. Punish him for being so greedy. Because also Phoenix are not that good against Speedlings because lifting one Ling is yeah. not really worth the energy. Yeah. So that would have definitely been the response that would have put you in a better position. In the would have given you the advantage and you know control of the game. It almost feels like you're uh, you're playing like uh, one step behind Protoss all the time. I feel like if you get a feeling faster for what's going on in the game. Mm -hmm you would be able to take advantage better. Uh, you play a lot on the North American servers. Uh, I don't know how much Zerg you play on the North American servers. I don't know how much 1v1 you play on the North American servers. But I think s there's some huge stylistic differences in uh, North American players and European players. Um, I feel like nowadays the European players are, are playing very passively yeah. as Protoss and they're yeah. just getting huge armies which you can uh, react to by droning more and uh, yeah, trying to take bases quicker and stuff like that. Right. Whereas uh, things like uh, six gate are still not unheard of. 
on North America, so like Burrow still becomes very, very, first, uh, very important and prevalent. Well, Burrow is good against a lot of things because you always want to have tunneling claws so you can get out of nasty force fields mm -hmm. if you have to. So, but yeah, there's just a clear difference between play styles. People like it's it's basically either they're going to be two basing and doing a really heavy timing attack to play super careful and get tons of units to be ready. Yep. Or they're going to just play like a really big three base uh, massive army and not pressure you a lot early. And if you're doing that, you can make so many more drones than you could in the other scenario. So it's really important that you try to make up what they're doing. And then once you decided it's one thing, just stick with the plan because you need to respond perfectly if you want to have a chance. Right. Which is what's hard about P CVP right now. Yeah. It's definitely hard to stay in the know in this matchup. Go, little fella. I think it's better to to take risks and just keep making yourself assess um, the proto space. Mm -hmm. And then you're going to make wrong decisions, and you're going to lose games, and you're going to look like an idiot because, you, know, you know, I've looked like an idiot many times because I have 80 drones, and he attacks me, and I have two roaches, <laughs> you know. But then if you keep making that decision over and over, you're going to get it right more often. Yeah. And if you get it right 90% plus of the time, you're going to win 90% plus of your ZVPs. Yeah. So I think it's better to take risks like that than to play... You know, like you're scared because you're losing games and you think, oh my god, uh, I made too many drones, I need to stop doing this. And then the next game, you play super careful and the Protoss is going three base mm -hmm. and not attacking you ever. And then you end up in a situation where you lose as well. So right. I would always tell Zerg players to just take risks and, you know, make, y make drones. And if you lose, oh well. It's not about winning or losing, it's about uh, being able to uh, make the correct decision when it counts. Right, well I'm going to take a little risk right here. A little bit of early, early pressure. Probably not the kind of risk you were talking about, but we're going to do it anyway. Well, I would really like to see Zerglings on the map. I'm not sure what happened to them. Oh, they're coming. I only built two in the beginning. Because you need to scout him. What the hell? I'll keep fail. That would have been a lot better if I had uh, my hotkeys right. You're so unlucky today, man. It's a six gate. Can't really tell. Yeah, you you decided to put early pressure against the only guy that five gate at you so far. So obviously he's gonna have a lot of units to deal with that.
That sucks. Yeah, I know the feeling. This is just build order loss. All right. If you need like a minute to rage or something, then uh, no, no, no rage. It happens. It does happen. And it sucks when it does. Yeah. What you gonna do? All right. So let's uh, let's alleviate some of the rage. Let's get you in here to uh, stomp on somebody, and then uh, and then we'll call it a day. So I'm gonna bring back. Uh, well, we definitely gotta keep playing till till I win a game. <laughs> I, I, I can't. Now, if I, I, I'm not going to ask you to go over, but if we, if we try to play a best of three, we're probably going to go past two hours. Is that okay with you, or do you just want to play that's, one or two games? That's fine. Best of three is fine. Excellent. 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 All right. So I'm going to start us off on... Uh, on uh, I'm going to make it hard for you. I'm going to go back to Shattered Temple. All right. My favorite map. Is it really? No, but I do like it a lot better now that there's no cliff. Yeah. And the naturals are a little bit farther back. There's less annoying... Pats in the middle. The middle is really good now to flank. So I think this map is quite nice. And there's no close position close positions on the MLG version, right? Correct. No close positions. All right. So what we're going to do here is uh, you're going to play. I'm going to bug you with questions, and hopefully uh, we get the two quick and easy uh, wins. Uh, All if right. You're ready? We'll fire it up. I'm ready. Good luck, have fun. Let's break the, the curse. <laughs> you win some, you lose some. Sometimes you win a lot more, sometimes you lose a lot more. That last game was frustrating, though. If we look at it from the perspective of a, of a best of three, though, he's, he's up a game. Um, I'm behind. It kind of makes sense for him to kind of pull some sort of all-in in that position, right? Yeah, it, it can happen any time in a best of three. The good players will play different styles for each game. Right. It was just really unfortunate because you decided to put pressure, which is like the worst thing you can do. And like once you're, you're, you're you decided for putting pressure, it's really hard to revert that decision, yeah. or see in time that you can't. So just bad luck that that game. Well, we're gonna have to play better than that if we're gonna get through the first day at, at Dallas. Well, there's not gonna be a lot of Europeans. <laughs> Del, uh, things might be looking up for you. Oh okay, god, Dark Force and Damaga will be in my group. Because uh, they don't have... Are, they, are they both going? <laughs> they both said maybe, so I don't know. It will be a lot of fun to, uh, to see those guys, actually. Mainly Damaga, I haven't seen him in too long. Yeah, I hope he comes. If, uh, ever since, uh, you know, the beginning of the beta, I was a, I've been a huge Damaga fan, just because he's got such a kind of crazy style. Sometimes he gets a little uh, too crazy. Yeah, he's been... I remember, like, a period of, like, three months where Demago was very upset with the balance of the game, yeah. and all he would do was six pool people or failing bust them. Yeah. That didn't work that well for him. <laughs> and it doesn't work that well for most people. Yeah, it doesn't. Just watch uh, the Fruit Dealer play. So I'm really not worried about getting this 100 gas right now. It's just, uh, if he scouts me, he's going to see that I might be going speed links. Mm -hmm. So he has to worry a little.